And here we are live from Piscataway, wrapping up the week in practice. Bobby Duran, Sam Hellman here for ScarletNation.com. Uh, Rutgers is going into the bye week 2-0. Uh, Sam, what do you think of this week in practice? I think that they were pretty spirited this week. Uh, a lot of the guys were probably a little bit embarrassed or unhappy with the way they played down at FIU. And uh, I think you saw a little more spirit and a little more uh, determination this week. Okay, well, UNC's next on tap. Two weeks into the season, Rutgers 2-0. Sam, a lot of people say they didn't play particularly well in those two games. Your thoughts on how they fared? Well, I think that both games you saw a real slow start, maybe not taking the opponents as seriously as they needed to, but uh, I think that at the end of both games you saw them come on and they can carry that over to North Carolina, who's struggling right now. There's not going to be as much concern as a lot of people think. Okay, 2-0 and nevertheless. Um, after practice today, Brandon Bing talked about the fact that they are still 2-0. and Let's hear his thoughts. Um, it was good so far, but 2-0 um, is not going to do us any good for uh, you know, North Carolina. He's up on the game, so I mean, with 0-2 and 2-0, two and and we still got to get prepared for this uh, we'll call it the North Carolina season. So for this one game, we got to get prepared for So it's good to be 2-0, and o, but at the same time, I mean, it's better than losing. Okay. But, uh, we still got to be focused on this thing. Not everyone gets a chance to go home with just two days with all the Florida boys on the roster. Uh, Bobby, you talked to D.C. What's he up to? Well, D.C. is an avid fisherman, as we talked about before, but I don't think he's going to get a chance to do it this weekend. Um, he talked about what he has in store for this Saturday and Sunday. I know you're not going to be able to go home this weekend. What do you, what do you have in store? Um, honestly, with this weekend, I'm, I'm going to get some good rest. You know, we got a, a big game coming up. I'm going to just go get, you know, go over a little film, you know, be chill with guys on the team. And it's enjoyed and get rest so we can be prepared for the upcoming game. I know we talked before, you said you're an avid fisherman, but no fishing over the weekend? No, not, it's not this week. This, this, this bye week been a, you know, a good one. It don't took its toll on me, so just trying to rest up and get ready. Okay, how's the fishing been in Jersey? Oh, it's, it's, been, it's been okay. It's not home, you know. Like at home, you know, we got, we got big bass, big fish, you know. Mm -hmm. Any day I can go out there and catch something. In New Jersey, it's a little hard. Okay, you know, found no spots yet? It's a couple spots, but I'm just, wherever I see water, you know, if it's an opportunity to fish and I can get out there, I'll do it. There you have it. Uh, we're wrapping up the week. Rutgers heading into the bye week 2-0 after wins against Florida International and Norfolk State. Uh, we'll check back with you next week. Stay tuned. Bobby Durant, Sam Hellman. We'll see you again.